Hi friends, I've been missing you. I know it's been a few weeks since I've been on and uh, shared a word of something that was on my heart that I wanted to share with you. But uh, here we are in February and uh, I've been getting over the bug, doing real well and I'm just thankful that today I can share with you. You know, these days aren't a lot of fun. Uh, a year ago, a year ago right now, we were in Ukraine and uh, had a great month of February last year because I uh, got to teach two weeks with the Michael Gott team in Kiev of teaching English and then a week at the seminary teaching in Lviv with just some of the greatest young people and worship leaders in Ukraine. And then we had a week in Rivna uh, meeting with some English students and friends and Wow, what a wonderful month February was last year. Well, this year's different. You know, we, uh, we got home in March and you know what took place. Life has been turned upside down and uh, travel has become difficult and uh, we've not been able to get back to Ukraine yet. Travel's still difficult. And how long that's gonna be, I don't know. I know I'm ready to go back. But uh, things are, have changed, and sometimes you can get pretty pretty low. We can get depressed because we had a lot of freedoms taken away. The governments now say you can do this and you can't do that. So it's been a difficult year. But you know what? Even with all of the sickness, and there, there have been people that we know and that you know that uh, they've lost loved ones to this pandemic, physically, the people that have died. And, and then some of you or some of your friends, they've lost their livelihood. They've lost their jobs. They've lost their, their income because the pandemic has changed everything. And we've been restricted. And well, we're not here to talk about what was good and what was bad about uh, the way things have been handled. But I am here to tell you that you can still have the best days of your life. And you know what I found out? Something happens when God's word and a country song come together. I'm going to tell you how you can be having the best life you've ever had by listening to God's word and listening to a country song. Now that's ridiculous, isn't it? Well, let me show you how. Deuteronomy, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6. We just want to go to scripture. I can tell you right now how you can have, be having the best life that you've ever had. Deuteronomy 6, go down and I'm going to start reading in verse 4. Listen, Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These words that I'm giving you today are to be in your heart. Well, you could read more. But what this is saying, you know what? You need to be living more passionately than you've ever lived. And you need to be loving God and serving God with all of your heart and with all of your soul and with all of your strength. Today is a time to be living passionately because days and time are important. And those of us that follow Christ realize Boy, if time ever mattered, it matters now. It's time to serve him and love him with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our strength. Well, we're attacking different areas of our life passionately. We all have different passions. Now, one thing I can't tell you today, boy, your passion's all distorted and you're wasting your time. But I want to encourage you to do this. When you think about loving God and serving God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your strength, take your passion. Put it up to God's word. Say, God, is this that I'm giving my life to? Is it in a way that's loving you with all of my heart, with all of my soul, with all of my strength? Because what we do needs to reflect our love and our respect and our honor to God. So that's one way 
you can have the very best life right now because you're giving it all you've got. You're giving everything to him. You're loving God. You're serving God. You're loving people and being light in an old dark world. Well, where does the country song come in? Well, one of the, the great exercises that we would have in English classes over the last 12 years when I've been over in Ukraine or Hungary in those English classes, there'd be at least one day when we, for a few moments, talked about, um, you know, what if you only have a week to live or two weeks to live? What are you going to do with the rest of your life? You've only got a week to live. You've only got two weeks to live. Well, that caused for some interesting thought, and uh, most people didn't want to stop and think about it. But after we would have some discussion, I told those students something about an American country song. Well, you hear an American that have followed country music, a lot of you know it. Go back to that old song that Tim McGraw sang, Live Like You Were Dying. Well, it's a song that talks about this man that finds out that the doctor tells him he's going to die. He, he's got a fatal disease and he's about to die. So what does is, what is this man, Tim McGraw, in the song do? Well, he goes out and he, he, he climbs the mountains and he goes skydiving. He does all of those things that he's always wanted to do, that he'd put off doing. He gives it all he's got in whatever time he has left. And then there's three things that are really, really strong in that song when it says, he loved more deeply. He spoke more sweetly. He gave forgiveness. He admit denying. Oh, I hope you get the chance to live like you're dying. Who do you need to share your love with? Who do you need to speak more sweetly to? Who do you need to forgive today? You know, I, I think back to about a person that was a very good friend of mine and was sick for several years. And I kept saying, you know, I need to go see them. They live across the country, but they've been sick, haven't seen them in years one of the best friends I ever had. I need to get on an airplane and I need to go see that friend. I never did. And that friend died. I put off something that I should never have put off. Well, there are some people that uh, today you need to, to call or send a message to or write them a letter, be in touch with them and say, you know what, I, I love you. How you doing? You mean a lot to me. And I want to tell you while I have the opportunity. Or perhaps um, somebody you need to forgive or you need to ask forgiveness of. You need to, to send them a message. Say, you know, I, I was angry at you for years and I've done you wrong. You've done me wrong, but I, I forgive you. Now, that's some of the best things you can do these days. To have your best life. Love people. Forgive people. You know, uh, maybe you've, your child or your grandchild, they've been wanting to go fishing and you've just been too busy and, well, I've got to do this and that. You know what you need to do? You need to make time this next week and go up to that child and say, you know what, we're going fishing. You drop everything you've got. I've been telling you I'm going to take you fishing. We're going fishing. Live like you're dying. Or perhaps your wife is just wanting something that would make her life a little bit easier. Let, let's say your wife's been wanting a new dishwasher. Or want, maybe she's never had a dishwasher and she wants a dishwasher. You know what you need to do? Men, you need to get on the phone or get out today and you need to go find that place where they're selling appliances and you get it purchased and you get it lined up. You get your wife that dishwasher. Live like you're dying. So how are we going to have the best days that we could ever have? Love and serve God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our strength. And live today like you're dying. Who do you need to call? Who do you need to forgive? 
Who do you need to love? Oh, live like you're dying. Because I may not finish this recording and I'll be in the presence of Jesus. Tomorrow may never come, but oh, I have joy because today I'm gonna live like I'm dying. And I'm gonna love the Lord my God with all of my heart, with all of my soul, and with all of my strength. And my dear friends that I haven't seen in a long time, especially you that are across the ocean and in Ukraine or Hungary or Poland, wherever it is that you're living now, oh, watch out, because the next time I see you, I may hug you so hard and long and strong because I won't want to get let go. Live like you're dying. I love you. God loves you. Let's serve him today and let's live a joyful life in these days.